Scams are nothing new to the music industry. In fact, scams have been around since money entered the music industry. People trying to take advantage of aspiring artists. In fact, way back in the 1950s, there was the Radio Payola scandal, where labels were paying radio stations to play music, which obviously, without the disclosement of the payment, means it's an advert and therefore was highly illegal. Now, whilst most artists are aware of the usual scams, like buying onto playlists, fake playlists or botted playlists, or even buying followers, there are several scams which aren't as obvious. This week, I was contacted by an artist who flagged a particularly well thought out and nasty scam. This artist was contacted by someone who claimed to work for the magazine, The Source. Now, The Source is a worldwide magazine that claims to have 150 million hits on their website every single month. Now, The Source has been around for a long time and has built up a reputation of breaking new artists and being a big part of music and the entertainment industry. One quick scan of their socials and you see some big numbers. One million followers on Instagram, including the likes of Conor McGregor and Merck Mercuriadis who follow their account. Now, the scammer promised the artist an article about them in the up and coming artist section and even sent them a link to the written article with pictures. And not only that, they even sent a video of the article saying that it hadn't been published, but was pending. Then you guessed it. As soon as you pay, they've gone. They block you from Instagram and there is no way to contact them to get your money back. Now you can see why this is an exciting prospect for an up and coming artist. Getting your music and you featured in a large publication is, well, let's face it, an amazing opportunity and very, very expensive. Now, way back in the day, which was probably around about Tuesday afternoon, I used to advertise in many of the, say, upper end music magazines like Kerrang, NME, Music Week, all of the guitarist magazines, bass rap magazine, rhythm magazine, all of those magazines. I can tell you that if you wanted to advertise in Kerrang, which was a weekly publication back in the mid 2000s, it would probably cost you around about $7,000 a week for a full page advert. If you wanted to advertise in Guitarist Magazine or Total Guitar or Rhythm Magazine, you're probably looking at around about $2,000 per month as long as you commit to 13 magazines over a year. Now that was for specific advertising, but this is more advertorial. Advertorial is more like a piece which is written in a positive light about you, which isn't quite an advert, but it isn't quite editorial, hence the name advertorial. Now, if you're a high-end company looking for advertorial in one of the top-end magazines, you could be looking at $50,000 per month per magazine. That's how much this stuff costs. So you can see this is an exciting opportunity when someone pays an artist attention and says, hey, love your stuff. I'd love to do a feature on you. Now, the reason why this is very believable is because many magazines and blogs and podcasts rely on two factors, which is number one, the big artists, because if they can get interviews with the big artists, that gives credibility, that gives authority. But if they can discover up and coming talent and break those artists, all of a sudden they're breaking into the cool factor. So you get the authority of the big artists and the cool factor of the up and coming artists. Because let's face it, hipsters aren't munching on their lentil sandwich and goji berry juice whilst listening to the top 40, unless it's Coldplay, and that's probably ironic. And this is where artists can easily get scammed because it's easy to say, oh, it's obviously a scam, but it isn't obvious. You think you know what a scam looks like. A, a scam usually looks like an email from a Nairobi Toby Prince offering you a hundred million dollars and all you've got to do is send your bank details. Good evening, sir. I'm calling from your credit card company. But this is different. This is someone who has attached themselves to a huge magazine, a huge publication, and this could potentially be real and a huge opportunity for you. Guys, quick interruption. You're clearly releasing music and serious about getting results. So have you checked out DK Music Business Academy? It's got over 50 hours worth of courses, including the roadmap to one million streams course. What have you got to lose? Seven day free trial, links in the description. Let's crack on with the video. Dr. Robert Caldini, the author of Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion, found six traits that scammers tend to use. Number one, reciprocation. The tendency to want to provide value for someone who's given you that value in the first place. In the same way as a restaurant might give you a mint when they provide you the bill in order to get a bigger tip. In this instance, they're providing you with an amazing opportunity and therefore you want to reciprocate. Number two, consistency, which can be done in a few different ways, but usually in this instance would be community 
communication, the way they're communicating, everything needs to be consistent because they need to build trust. They need you to trust them so that you will part with that money. Number three, social proof, showing off people that have benefited from this process. Number four, the relationship. There isn't going to be a good scam without a good relationship. So they're going to start the conversation without going straight in for the hundred mil. Number five, authority. A good scam is going to be attached to something that you trust. In this instance, the source or a million followers on Instagram. That sounds very trusting and therefore that builds that authority. Now, when it comes to the source, everything checks out. The website, a million followers on Instagram. They've even got their own wiki page. The problem is this isn't the source. This is somebody else piggybacking off their reputation. And number six, scarcity. You've got to be quick. There's only one slot left and I haven't got that much time. So it needs to be now or otherwise it's never. The issue here is music is aspirational and the music industry is an aspirational industry. Therefore, you want to believe someone who's providing you with that opportunity and you believe in your music. So therefore, it isn't out of the realms of possibility that someone else is going to believe in you the same way as you believe in you and then give you that opportunity. Number one, do your due diligence, which means you need to do your homework. You need to find out whether this feels real or there's a gut instinct that this isn't right. So things like people will message you on Instagram, Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, which could be a red flag. Now, not always, not necessarily because Instagram is a new type of email, but that is the first stage of communication. So if the email is damien at the source.com, well, that sounds pretty legit. Whether if it's damien58008 at yahoo.com, well, could be a booby trap. Number two, if this is a reputable company, you should be able to pay with a credit card. If you've got to drop a bag of monies down at a person at the street corner called Hank, then it probably isn't going to be real. And if you're paying with a debit card, it means you've got no recompense. You can't get that money back. But if you're paying with a credit card, there's possibility that you will be able to claim it back if you've been scammed. And number three, whilst you can trust the company, you can still do your due diligence on the person. Therefore, if you can find the person's name, you should be able to go onto LinkedIn or even Twitter or Facebook and find that person and see if they are who they say they are. Now, scams are rife in the music industry. And whilst you are right to be wary and do your due diligence, there are still plenty of good eggs who are there to give you opportunity. There are loads of podcasters or blogs or radio DJs or playlist curators who are looking for artists like yourself and that is a good match and a good opportunity for you and for them. Not everyone is out trying to scam you but what we're trying to do is figure out the ones who are trying to scam you versus the ones with a legitimate opportunity. This scam is a particularly nasty one because they're piggybacking off someone who has built a huge reputation for themselves and they're looking at you as an artist desperate for exposure, desperate to get your music out there and therefore open to be scammed. It's clear that there are so many scams in the music industry, and I feel like I'd like to do more videos like this on those scams that you just go, God, I wouldn't have seen that coming. So if you have been scammed or you know someone that's been scammed and you want to get in touch with me and I can do some more videos like this, that would be great. Either leave a comment down below or if you want a bit more anonymity, then feel free to DM me on my Instagram, which is Damien Keys one um, and hopefully we can try and get rid of as many scams or educate as many musicians so that they don't get scammed. So do me a favor before you go, just hit that like button because it makes the world of difference this algorithm. Otherwise, come and be a part of this community and subscribe. Take care. Don't get scammed. I'll see you again soon.